All right, Space Hog, in the meantime, this one goes out to David Nestor, who, when prodded for a request to say thank you for sending me that nice Pearl Jam tab book, he said he didn't have one. Part of the excitement is just seeing what I'm going to do next. So this one's what I'm going to do next. This one's for me, disguised as a David Nestor request. Uh, yeah, but this song, every time I hear this song, I'm transported back to uh, whatever year it was in my parents' Dodge Caravan that they unfortunately drove on the way to karate class with C.E. Bechtel, who also dabbled in guitar as well. And I haven't seen C.E. since seventh grade. He moved to Texas. C.E., where'd you go? Well, hey man, in the off chance that you happen to see this song, here we go with Space Hog. In the meantime, I'd never seen the David Letterman performance of this song. You should go check it out. I learned a lot from it about this song, including, but not limited to, the singer is the bass player, Holy wow, this bass line is bananas. Kara, I know I still owe you, steady as she goes, but do you want to do this one too? We'll have like a bass-a-thon week. All right, here we go. Great. The intro is really confusing because three things are happening um, and they're bouncing around in your ears and it's hard to tell what's happening, but one thing that's happening is the following. B string 5th fret, E string 4th fret. Just back and forth. Boom, ba, boom, ba. Oompa Loompa, and then you change it to 5-5. Five, five. So put your ring finger down on the baby E string for the other two Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompa. Suppose that's one Oompa Loompa. And that's it. Now, if you were to press me for a, um, a campfire version of this, we could say that this is this much of a D shape. Now this D shape is two frets higher than D normally is, so it's not a D, it's not a D sharp, it's an E. And then when we go 5-5, five, five, we could say that it is this much of an F shape on the fifth fret, which is not an F, not a G, but an A. So if you wanted to ultra simplify the intro, it would be E A. But while this is going on, I suppose is going so that's what makes it so confusing but if you listen to it and listen for those two things so here's the count one two three four one two three four one two four but what I learned when watching the live version is that one of the guitars, which I could not hear in the studio version, is going like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. Which is E up here, bar chord, seven, nine, 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 on the two beat. Nice soft little strum, and then a B, and then an F sharp minor, B by the way, seven, nine, nine, eight, F sharp minor, two, four, four, and then D, A. You could do that here. Another campfire alternate. This is how I would start it. If I was in a coffee shop, no one would know what I was doing, and then I'd be all, or whatever. Oh, I know what happens. Yeah, so the big bust into the part is D, A, E. So you'd be all, uh... D, A, E. Or you could do power chords, which would be... A string fifth fret for a D, which was silly because I went from here to here, then to here. That's a silly. That was just for demons demonstrative purposes. Yeah, so A string fifth fret, E string fifth fret, low E power chord, which hasn't really decided if it's an E major or a minor chord, so you can use one finger and you just got open to two. And then we're into the fun part. I made you wait a long time for that. A, D, F sharp, power chord, 
minors imply. Maybe they play minor, doesn't matter, you pick. A, D, F sharp, and then G string fourth fret. Then we're gonna move to the, did I say G string? I hope I said G string, I meant G string. Fourth fret. D string fourth fret, third fret. First fret, and the way I like to do that is, first of all, if the strings are kind of tight down here, it's hard to bend, so put your ring finger, your middle finger, and your pointer finger on the G string and do your one, two, and a half, and an und, <laughs> an und, an unbend, and then middle finger, pointer finger, slide. You can do middle, pull off, slide probably the way to do it because it's so fast. And then you're right back into your A. Don't play your A with three fingers, play it with one finger because you've just, you're, you're there, that's where you are. Middle finger, pointer finger, pointer finger, pointer finger, just slam it down. And notice that the D switches on the upbeat. Down, down, chick up, up, down, down. way probably to remember visually for doing this is A, G, F sharp, power chords, but you could also play, this is the third time. A, G, F sharp, power chord or minor, doesn't matter, they don't really give enough clues. It should be a minor, so if it's anything, it's minor, not major, but you could also do a power chord, doesn't matter. Great, the verse is the same as intro, as the intro. How that guy? I, I don't know the bass line off the top of my head, but how he sings and plays that at the same time, that's absolutely crazy. You could do. In the end we shall achieve in time the thing we call divine. They're so crazy. <laughs> C, not Nazi either. Neither of those things. The E chord on the word C. And then we're back to the chorus. Love you all. second fret. You could also play a D with an F sharp in the bass, the better man chord. That works totally well there too because what we're really looking for is the F sharp there. Um, and then either E major or E minor, there are zero clues as to which it is in either the live or the album version. Nobody's playing a third, I can't tell. So let's see which one I like better. You pick, it doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. C. D G F sharp note cover E minor Let's try it the other way E major
buy either of them. I don't know. Or you do the power chords. We're still in the first half of the bridge, by the way. I apologize. C. D. Just do it this way. G. That doesn't work. G. G power chord with an F sharp in the bass now is like we went from 3 5 5 to 2 5 5. And then you just do an E power chord and then you don't have to do any deciding whatsoever. Did I mention in the intro that this song was the song that kicked off the golf? playlist. I mention this now because I looked at the golf playlist recently and it has now three followers. So it's me and my buddy Aaron. I'm not a follower. Uh, he's the co-creator of the golf playlist. And uh, then some other mystery person and some new mystery person. So whatever poor soul has done this to yourself and followed the golf playlist, please uh, raise your hand and let us know who you are and uh, if you're enjoying it. Oh god, we're on the bridge. Whole bridge, no more yapping. C, power chord or open chord. D, G, F sharp. I'm gonna go with E minor, yeah. And then C, now we need a B minor. And then I'm gonna say it's E major. But in the meantime, but in the meantime. The reason I'm gonna say it's E major is because we're going back to A, and E major is the chord that most wants to go to A. So you could still play E minor or E major, but I like E, mi e major better because E major is A major's fifth. Notice the open A string and the open E string. The fifth is located on the string towards the heavens from the A string in the same fret. So, you know, for instance, the fifth of C, here it is, is G, and then the, fret, the fifth of open A is open E. This is going on way too long, but we're done. That's all there is to say except the outro, but let's do the bridge in power chord form. C. D. G. F sharp. E. And then C. Now you can just play a B power chord, so that's good. And then low E. Choruses on and on and on and on until it goes A, D, E, F sharp, B, B flat, A, D, F sharp, B, B flat, A. And notice the cool, you can really practice your, your mutes there because it's really divided of when it happens. A, entire video there's a monster at the end of this book don't turn the page <laughs> uh grover yeah loved that book as a kid anyways thank you again david and don't worry this doesn't uh, nullify the other conversation we had about sam and um yeah that's it for me about this song and now we can put this song to bed any other space hog songs we need to do i gotta be honest this is the only one i know some 90s fan i am anyways thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.